The liturgy, or Eucharist, is at the center of our life together at St. Gregory's. The liturgy is for everyone, babies, children, teenagers, adults, elders, everyone. Christians all over the world have celebrated the Eucharist for thousands of years. In this video, you'll get a glimpse of what our celebration looks like on Sunday mornings at St. Gregory's. The liturgy, or Eucharist, has two parts. First, there is the liturgy of the Word of God. In the liturgy of the Word of God, God comes to us in readings from the scriptures and in the silences, in the sermon, and in the stories we share from our own lives. The second part is the liturgy of the table. In the liturgy of the table, God comes to us when we share the peace and the bread and the wine with one another. The Eucharist begins when we gather together. The ringing church bell calls us to the gathering. At the gathering, prayers and songs, candles and incense help us get ready to meet God in the liturgy. After the gathering, we are ready to listen for the word of God in readings from scripture. Whenever the bowl bell rings, it means we are going to enter the silence. In the silence, we don't just listen with our ears, we listen with our whole bodies and with our hearts. In the sermon, the preacher tries to connect the readings from scripture with experiences from his or her own life and the life of the community. God speaks to us through scripture, and through silence, and through our own life experiences. So after the sermon, people stand up and share experiences and stories from their own lives. Everyone is welcome to share their stories. After the sermon and the sharing, we often sing Alleluia and carry the gospel book around the church for everyone to greet with a touch or kiss. We even ring the church bell again because we are so glad that God's word is with us. If children have taken out art supplies or stories to work with as they listen to the word of God, now is the best time to begin quietly putting those things away so that everyone is ready for what is coming next. At the prayers, we pray for the whole world. We pray the way Jesus taught his friends to pray more than 2,000 years ago. Where there are needs, we pray for God's mercy. Where there are blessings, we give thanks to God. After the prayers, everyone moves to gather around the table. On our way to the table, we do a very old dance step called the tripudium. It goes three steps forward and one step back. When we go to the table, we bring the bread and wine to the table too. Children help lead this procession by carrying the bread and the wine, the cross and the incense, and by playing instruments as we go. Once everyone has gathered around the table, we bless each other with a sign of God's peace. This blessing can be a word, a hug, a handshake, or even a kiss. Next, we all come very close to the table. We join the priest in lifting up our hearts and our hands to offer the prayer of great thanksgiving to God. We have already blessed each other at the peace. Now we bless the bread and wine. What is beginning to happen is a great mystery. We remember the last supper of Jesus and his friends and then gradually we are there and it is here. After the prayer, we share communion with each other. We share the bread, saying, the body of Christ. We share the wine, saying, the blood of Christ. When we share the bread and wine, we remember how greatly God loves us, and we want to share that love with the whole world. We begin to share God's love with the world by sharing our money for the work of the church. Before we go out into the world, we offer one last special blessing for people who are celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, and other special occasions. Amen. 
To complete our celebration, we join our bodies in a circle below as the dancing saints circle above us to sing and dance one final carol. When the carol ends, the deacons send us out into the world saying, let us bless the Lord. And we respond, thanks be to God. We are strong and connected and moving. We are ready to be God's hands and feet, God's heart and voice in the world. <laughs>